6, 49 is your time now. Starting to see the sky lighting up just a little bit out there. Looking at our Fire Bureau Interstate 2 there at the bottom of your screen. A lot more folks on the roadways, but we're so far, in, for most of us, in pretty good shape. But there has been some patchy fog out there, so be aware of that, especially as you go up Highway 281 towards San Manuel Lynn and further. And then also around Valley International going west on Interstate 2 towards Wessico. We've been seeing some of that fog this morning and also some very light fog elsewhere. So give yourself a little extra time if you're heading in those general areas. But after the next couple hours or so, we'll see plenty of sunshine take over. Now the sea breeze boundary will move westward today, expecting to see a few showers along that boundary, not expecting a whole lot, uh, but there will be some. Again, that deep tropical moisture will be interacting uh, with that uh, boundary. Lower to middle 90s out there for highs today, mid 80s there along the coast, east winds gusting at around 20 miles per hour. Again, that rain chance mainly east of Highway 281, 69C, and there's not going to be a lot out there today, just a hit and miss shower or two. Uh, dust out of the Atlantic Basin, a lot of high pressure keeping the skies relatively clear. Until you get to the southern Gulf of Mexico, that's where we have Tropical Storm Carl formed yesterday evening now with 40 mile per hour winds moving off towards the north northwest very slowly, and uh, winds are gusting up around 50 miles per hour. So despite the fact it's moving off towards the north, it's going to end up going back and curving around and going southward. So this is not going to be a system that we're going to have to worry about. Tropical storm watches continue along the coast of Mexico way towards our south, just from about Tampico points south from there. So by tomorrow, late tonight, early tomorrow morning, it's already going to start making its turn towards the west and then it's going to go south from there. Again, high pressure to the north, a frontal boundary to the north, all of that keeping Carl away from us. But we do have that tropical moisture coming in. So with that combined with this front from the north, we do have again a shot at some of those sea breeze showers, maybe a little bit better shot for tomorrow. But all in all, uh, just keeping those isolated rain chances into the weekend. A stronger front approaches us on Monday. That could bring us some heavy rain and temperatures much cooler by Tuesday.